Coach B coming to you this second day of September in 2013 with a remarkable show. This is our master class, Whole Brain Teaching Master Class, program 556, a master class preview. Delighted to be talking to you tonight. And here's a commercial right away, my friends. Biffy Bluebird says, Do not eat or sleep until you buy this book at Amazon.com. And I'll tell you what we're going to do, folks. If you buy the book, Whole Brain Teaching for Challenging Kids at Amazon.com, tonight only, here's the deal. We're going to throw in a back cover. Look at that beautiful back cover with lots and lots of information. All right, my friends, let's just get it started. The incredible show tonight, an overview of 13 weeks, a master class preview addressing all levels of whole brain teaching, rookie, professional, and all-star. Let's see how many folks we've got online tonight. Who's excited? There's Sarah Metter. There's Blizzard. There's Jeff Battle. And my friends, it is a brand new organization that we have tonight. Jeff Battle hasn't seen it. Sarah Metter hasn't seen it. No one's seen it. I've barely seen it myself. It's a completely new way to teach whole brain teaching. And it's a result of coast-to-coast -coast conferences over the last month or so that I've been delighted to give. And the more I'm teaching about whole brain teaching, the better the ideas become. So it's really brand new tonight. Let's just jump into it. I'm going back to my screen. And let's look at this 13-week preview. Week 1, Irresistible Attention Getters. Week 2, Astonishing 100% Student Engagement. Week 3, Magnetic Focus on Huge Points. Week four, dynamic student speaking and listening skills. Solve everything classroom rules. Motivate your class to work incredibly hard in week six. Transform your students into high energy whole brain teachers. Create lightning fast transitions in week eight. Unbelievably effective motivation for your most challenging students. Blunt that blurting. Got kids that blurt? Let's blunt it. Extinguish backtalk, move from oral writing to essay speaking, and create the self managing class. I'm going just face to face with you, my friends, and you tell me what week are you most excited about? My friends, 13 weeks coming up, and I'm giving you a preview tonight. Golly, am I excited! I'm trying to hold back my excitement. Oh, it's the blurting. Oral writing to essay speaking, says Jeff Battle. All of them, says Kim. Week one, says someone. Yes, my friends. Stuff is starting right now, Melanie. Self-managing classroom. All right. Let's get to our preview. That gives you the big, big picture. Look at it again. That's what's coming in the next 13 weeks. And it's a completely new way to teach. Let's look at this new way to teach. Here we go. Preview of week one. Look at it carefully. Carefully, my friends. It's divided into five columns. When you want, when you want your students' attention, you say or do something. The students respond. What should happen? And then there's a note. And then some tally marks. So we start with week one. We're calling these tiers. 
Let me explain why I call these tiers. Our classroom management system has levels. This is not levels. These are just different tiers that we're going to use to teach you about whole brain teaching. And every tier focuses on one skill and three flavors of one skill. So at tier one, we're going to focus on how to get your students' attention as a rookie, as a pro, and as an all-star. At tier two, we go to another skill, rookie, pro, and all-star. Why? Ease of implementation. Just stay at tier one until you got it, and then go to tier two. It's a long year, 13 weeks from now, if you stay at each tier just for one week, 13 weeks from now. You're teaching, I'm taking off the glasses now. If you stay at each tier for one week, 13 weeks from now, your teaching is going to be so dazzling, your kids will have to wear shades in the classroom because of how sparkly brilliant your lessons are. Can you dig that? There's that three-dimensional. Everybody with me on this idea of tiers at three different levels. I'm going to look at my responses here. Any questions about the three different levels? Can't wait to see the shades. That's right. Love the tears. All right. Now, again, let me stress. I'm going to stress this, my friends. I'm going to stress this. Big point here. I'm going here to my 3D mix. I'm stressing this. Don't go too fast. There's material here in Tier 1 that even pros like Sarah Metter and Jeff Battle and Budsley have not mastered. Take a week. Give yourself 13 weeks to master this. Let's just look at the three levels. All right. At the rookie level for an attention getter, you use class yes or variations, class city class, class a doodle do, etc., and you're going to have to keep reminding the kids to fold their hands. Once you get that down, then you go to the pro level. And you say, class, boom! And you make that gesture. So your kids will say, yes, boom! That way, you not only get their attention, you get those hands, which are distractors, folded in front of you. Now this is huge. I'm taking off my glasses again, my friends. A lot of big points tonight. I'm taking off my glasses. This is so important. Do not overuse class yes because you want to teach them something with your attention getter. Get to class boom as soon as you can, but then your goal is to use as an attention getter anything you think is a gnarly fact. Can I tell you something? A lot of kids are missing 9 plus 7. That's a gnarly fact. So you say 9 plus 7 and they should say 16. A lot of kids are missing 15 minus 8. Why? because we're not giving enough repetition to those math facts. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, figure out what the math facts are that your kids are missing. I'm just going to go to my online audience now, which is over 100 people. Give us a list of the facts that your kids need more repetition on. 
More repetition on what facts, my friends? So there's certain addition numbers, the sevens, the eights, and the nines in addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And get to it right away. Six times eight. X by eight. You're right, Holman. You know what those mistakes are. Yes, Kate, you know what the mistakes are. Why don't you give them practice on getting the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division right? Any skip counting. Decimals. So here is the big idea, the first big idea. Get past class yes. Class yes just gets their attention. Go to class boom and go to some basic math facts or anything else that's basic. Then you're at the professional level of attention getter. All right, now let's go back to our screen. Go back to our screen, my friends. And I want to tell you this. I'm going to have much more to say next week on attention getters, a whole hour, so that you're really going to get it down. Remember, it's a long year. Just give it 13 weeks. Let it grow. You notice over here on the right, tally marks. Oh, I wonder what the tally marks are about. Every one of our tiers focuses on one thing. And then there's a mastery challenge. Look at the mastery challenge. As a rookie, use class less with, yes, with variations at least 20 times per day. And mark a tally mark every time you do. When you do that, you're not a rookie anymore. You've done it 20 times a day. Then go to the pro level. Use class yes, boom, with variations at least 10 times a day. Class a boom, class chicka boom, class boom shaboom. Note those with tally marks. Let's just stop there and use the brilliance of our online audience, give me some variations on class boom, class chicka boom, class boom shaboom. Variations, come on. One week at every tier. No, one week at every tier, not 13 weeks at every tier, because you'll be retired before you finish. Class boom, chicka boom. Class boom, boom. Class boom, chicka rock and boom. Class booga boom. Class ticka ticka boom. Everybody got it. You guys have got it. That's the beauty of live online. Class boom, shaka laka boom. Oh, Jen Dancy. 20 times a day, my friends, is not overusing. Look at me. This is huge. How many times a day do you need to call your students' attention? Uh... You might use 20 times in the first two hours. Let's talk to some pro whole brain teachers we got online tonight. Jeff Battle, Nancy, other names in red. How many times a day do you use class yes or variation? A thousand? <laughs> yeah, probably a little understatement. All the time, lots. So we agree that 20 times a day is not too much to master this. Nancy, how many times a day in second grade are you using a variation? Kate, 30 certainly. 15 to 20. All right. 45-minute middle school class. There's Andre Desch. Andre, good to have you online. He's our middle school specialist along with Jeff Battle. All right. So let's look at that screen again. And then All-Star, in one day's teaching, use the rookie, pro, and All-Star attention getters equally, no fewer than 20 times total. Note with tally marks. Let's talk about the tally marks. Let's go to the screen again that shows the tally marks. Here's the screen. Print it out. Use it as a reminder. 
There it is. Set your own personal records. Oh, personal records? That's what we're all about. You'll start with lots of rookie and pro stuff and then move into all-star. Use the tally marks. Teach it to yourself. Just give me one week of irresistible attention getters. And you've got it down and you're ready for a week two. You are alive with attention getters. Remember, it's a long year. One week per each tier. A lot more to say about tier one next week. Let's look at tier two. Here it is. Astonishing 100% student engagement. At the rookie level, when you want 100% student engagement, you say mirror words. Your kids say mirror words, and students mirror your gestures. Let's look at that. Here's a mistake I note. Teachers will say mirror words, the kids say mirror words, and then the teachers just hold their hands like this and don't do anything with their hands. Whatever the noun is, whatever the adjective is, act it out with your hands. The Amazon is a very big river. It has many tributaries. And it's way down in South America. Here's North America. Here's South America. Speak slowly. Illustrate the nouns and the adjectives with your hands. Be visual. And as you do, kids say your words and mirror your gestures. That is the rookie level. The pro level is a little more complicated. It's silent mirrors. You need some variety, so here's the routine. Silent mirrors. Silent mirrors. And then you talk and you move your hands. Some kids will talk back to you and you say, silent mirrors don't talk. That's normal. Silent mirrors, mm. Silent mirrors don't talk. If you talk this way, they'll say back to you. When you're in silent mirrors, silent mirrors, mm, you're just talking along about the Amazon. It's a very big river. It has lots of tributaries. Don't put a pause in there. The kids will fill it in. Now, what's the pro level? The pro level is magic mirrors. You put your hands behind your back. The kids say magic mirrors, ooh, and they wiggle their fingers. And then they say your words, but they create your own, their own gestures. Let's look at magic mirrors. You say magic mirrors, and you put your hands behind your back. They say magic mirrors, ooh. And then as you speak, don't make gestures. Let them invent the gestures and say your words. Let's go to our online pros, especially the names in red. Who has used magic mirrors? Gwen, you're excited by it, aren't you? Kate, are you using magic mirrors? You see, the triple mirrors gives you variety. Then they really own it. You're right, Kendra. Okay. It does help them get ready for the crazy professor reading game. When would you introduce magic mirrors? When you think it's time, when you're comfortable with it. That's when you introduce it. But now listen to me, my friends. Listen, I'm, I'm starting to get, you know, I'm starting to lose it. You're going to introduce magic mirrors tomorrow. I don't think you're going to because I'm sending the WB police out there. Tomorrow and for a week, you practice the attention getters. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's a long year. Give me 13 weeks. Work on your three attention getters until you're really smooth and groovy with them. 
Then you try your rookie mirror, your pro mirror, and then you go, my friends, to the magic mirrors. All right, let's look at the screen again, my friends. Again, if you go too fast, you won't get anywhere. Give it one week. All you're working on is your mirrors and then, of course, your attention getters. Let's look at the challenge. Use mirror words 10 times in one day's teaching. Note it with tally marks. When you do that with 10 tally marks, give yourself permission to try the pro level. Then try mirror words and silent mirror 10 times in one day's teaching. Note it with the tally marks. Then put them all together. When you do that over the course of a week, you've got a handle on how to get student engagement. So after two weeks, you have a rich variety of attention getters and a rich variety of ways to get 100% student engagement. And you can then mix and match. You could use a pro attention getter with a rookie magic mirror. You see, if I've got three kinds of attention getters and three kinds of mirrors, that gives me nine variations in two stinking weeks. Is everybody with me? Are you with me on the idea of going slow once in your life and getting it right? Please, my friends. You can add other stuff, but slow is going to make you a pro. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Slow is going to make you a pro. 13 weeks to superstar. I wish I could figure out a rhyme on that. Sarah? As uh, slow as makes you a pro, blah, blah, blah makes you a star. Got a rhyme there? Yes. Hmm, yeah, me too. Now, slow to pro. Now, again, we're going for mastery. All of you. You heard about whole brain teaching. You're not going to fiddle with it anymore. You're going full force. But full force means you give yourself and your students a week to really master each technique. Go far to be a star. All right. Slow to pro, star not so far. Desh, it's just great to have you online. Coach B. Rappin, that's right. All right, let's get back here. Now, there's our second Tier 2 Mastery Challenge. Give yourself a test. You're looking for personal improvement. Here's what I'm excited about. Can I tell you what I'm excited about? Using this new tier system, it's designed to help you set personal records as a whole brain teacher. And you know what? Setting personal records is what whole brain teaching is all about for our kids. Why don't we use it on ourselves? Tier 1, set some personal records. Tier 2, set some personal records. And again, next week we're going to get deeply into Tier 1. So you're just cooking along now. Next week, we be cranking together. Let's look at Tier 3. Here it is. Now, I'm not going to show this. Nancy, Jeff Battle, Sarah Metter, Budsley, my other red pros. Here's my question to you. You know hands and eyes is what we use when we have a big point. And you know hands, hands, hands and eyes is what we use when we have a giant point. 
But what do we use when we have a heart-stoppingly huge cosmic point? What's bigger than hands, 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 and eyes? Jeff Battle, I'm putting it to you because I got one for you, baby. What's bigger than hands, 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 and eyes? Glasses off? Good try, Southern teacher. Southern teacher, make yourself red. I'm waiting. Throw your hat at them. Metter, that's good. Hands, feet, and laser eyes. Scrap, you're wonderful. And bodies? That's good. Spam, spam, baked beans, and spam. Karen, where did that come from? Boom, hands and eyes. That's good. Hands, boom. Uh, listen, here it is. It's brand new. Dash, can you stand something brand new? I mean, you know, it's usually brand new every 10 minutes, but Andre, can you stand brand new? All right. Mac and cheese, everybody freeze. Grow or die? <laughs> Matter. You're something special. All right, here we go. Here it is. Here's the brand new. Ultimate hands and eyes. All-star. To emphasize an important point. I.E. hands, hands, hands and eyes. And they say, I.E. hands, hands, hands and eyes. Students fold their hands, stare at you with laser-like intensity squared. Use this for hot, heart-stoppingly important points. So let's look at those three levels again for hands and eyes. Important point, you say hands and eyes, they say hands and eyes. Let me just go through these one more time. All right, you've got an important point, you say hands and eyes, the kids say hands and eyes. It's also good if they're chatting a little bit and class yes doesn't work, you say hands and eyes and they fold hands and eyes and look at you. About once every five minutes. But then you got a bigger point than that, you say hands, hands, hands and eyes, and they say hands, 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 and eyes, and they know it's even bigger. Once a day, maybe. Do this. Aye! Hands, 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 and eyes. See? That's going to rock them. Aye! I just made up the aye gesture. Aye! Hands, 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 and eyes. All right, let's go to our pros. So great to have them online. Uh, give us names in red. Names in red, how many times a day do you use hands and eyes? How many times a day would you use hands, hands, hands and eyes? Give us an estimate. Yes, you have to have the gesture, Nancy. Estimate, how many times are you using hands and eyes normally? Two to three times, Blizzard, okay. Sarah, how many times are you using hands and eyes in a period? At least 20 times. All right. Leaning forward is a little. I do that a bit. Sarah, about two to three times. Hands and eyes around three times in a 45-minute test. Maybe seven for hands, less for hands, hands, hands and eyes. All right. You guys see the pattern. We need to... Nancy's right. We need to come back a lot of times. Now let's look at the master class challenge. Magnetic focus on hu huge points. Use hands and eyes 10 times in one day's teaching. So use it. Whole day. Same as previous, but add hands, hands, hands and eyes three times for bigger points. Add one, i.e., hands and eyes. Mark the tally marks. I want to see if everybody's on board with tally marking yourself. Do you see the reason for tally marking if you're going into a 13-week program where you've got, you know, I'm three weeks in here, and you've got nine techniques under your belt. It really is going to help you. 
Give yourself 13 weeks. That's going to get you to right about before Christmas vacation. Print it out. Tally mark it up. And go slow. And the tally marking is brand new, as Nancy and Jeff and Sarah and Kate will tell you. What do you do with the results? You motivate yourself to do better next time. You're right, Kylie. If you don't use the scoreboard, it's probably the big problem. Golf score beads is good. I'm looking into golf score beads. All right. All right, now, my friends, better is more often. Scrap Bunny, however that works for you, I'm just talking tonight about a way for newbies and pros to kind of track and move forward. I here's what I learned, here's what I learned this summer. I start out in Seattle teaching all about whole brain teaching, had a great conference there, loved the group, was there for two days. By the time I got to Pensacola and then Florida and then Indiana and then Santa Maria, California and Gilroy, California, and Billings, Montana, and then Houston, Texas, it began to occur to me that I was teaching too much stuff. So in Houston, Texas, which was my last conference, I just focused on the class yes with some tears, T-I-E-R-S, and mirror words and hands and eyes, just a little bit of stuff. And I felt like it wasn't so overwhelming. The danger with whole brain teaching, two dangers. You're going too fast and you get overwhelmed. And that's why you got overwhelmed. You're going too fast. Does everybody understand? Get with the 13-week program. One tier per week. Master it and then go on. All right, let's look back at our screen here. Now, here we are. This was just an overview. Go back so you see what's coming. Next week, I'm spending a lot of time taking my own advice. I know that's weird. I'm going to go slow, and I'm going to talk about irresistible attention getters and really go into detail so you're going to master irresistible attention getters. And then I'm going to the mirror words, etc. Nice and slow. By Christmas, you're going to be so stinking good. Your lessons are going to be so bright and shiny. Your kids will be wearing shades. All right. Now, here are the advantages of the master class tier structure. One... It's easy to implement. Practice one tier at a time. Two, there's multiple skill levels. Like anything, you can be a little better and a little better. All of them have the same pattern. You self-assess using tally marks. And I'll tell you what, it's modifiable. If you want to, change the order of the tiers. And it's in-depth. You're going to be learning three techniques at each tier. That's 39 whole brain teaching techniques by Christmas. Easy pacing. Master one tier per week or take longer. Grade level teams. Instructors can set grade level implementation targets. And subs will love it. Let's talk about subs. It keeps coming up. I don't get why subs keeps I'm taking my glasses off. I don't get why subs keeps coming up. Can I just tell you something as a veteran instructor? Do not take a day off when you're sick. If you take a day off when you're sick, you're spoiling your day off. 
If you're sick, get yourself to school. You're going to be sick whether at school or at home. You take a day off when you're feeling fine. That way you enjoy your day off. Give yourself one mental health day before Christmas, one mental health day after Christmas, and if you set your mind up that I'm not taking a day off if I get sick, you don't get sick. I don't think I've ever talked about that before. What do you guys think of that philosophy about not taking a day off if you're sick? If you're contagious, oh my friend, just, you know, use a handkerchief. All right, my friends, let's look at the wrap-up here. Here is our screen. And this was webcast 556. 556 is the code number for this program. Before long, sometimes when in minutes, you'll get an email with a professional development certificate and a PDF copy of these slides. Here's how you do it. If you want a copy of the slides, go up here to the PayPal, put in 556, I'll send you a copy of the slides and a professional development certificate. There it is. There's the front of it and there's the back of it. I'm curious, anybody using whole brain teaching for professional development, I thought that was going to be a big deal. Questions about great. So if you want the professional development thing, send me five five six and I'll send it to you. Yes, that's how you earn. Oh, certification points. No, we're, we're doing certification just through the book club. Can you get the tier worksheet without ordering? Well, you could copy it down. All right. Here's the thing. Um, if you want a whole brain teaching conference at your school for ultra cheap, that means you're not getting Coach B. You're getting in the trenches teachers like Sarah Metter or Kate uh, Bowski or Andre. Send an email. Well, let's do this. Andre, put your email address online right now and tell folks what grade level and where you're at. So it's Louisiana. Uh, Sarah, do the same thing. Kate, do the same thing. Any other interns out there, do the same thing. And if that goes by too fast for you, Nancy Stoltenberg will list her email address and she'll put you in contact with some of these incredible whole brain teaching interns. Now they're full-time teachers. They're not rookies. They're really good. But they're moving up the whole brain teaching ladder. Let's look at where some of these conferences are. We list the conferences right here. Right over here. Andre, Andre, how many people do you have coming to that Louisiana Big Seven conference? Kate, how many do you have signed up for New Jersey? Sarah, how many for Illinois? And Southern Illinois as well. 
Yes, you need to get us a minimum number of teachers, let's say 25. That's great, Kate. That is really great. All right, now let's put up um, let's put up the Facebook pages. So grade level Facebook pages coming at you from Blizzard. Music, Gwen, thank you. Melinda King, second grade, thank you. What was our maximum number of viewers tonight? The book club is still cooking, my friends. If you want to be a certified whole brain teacher, go to the book club. Absolutely use it for pre-K. In fact, the tier system is perfect. Just stay at each tier for two weeks. If you're interested in certification and the book club, let me help you out. See right here? This is a weird PDF that right here, you can scroll through it. Scroll through the PDF and there is a link, there's a link to the book club. You know what? I think this is an old PDF. My goodness gracious, it is. I'll have to put the new PDF up. Nancy, did you notice that? This is not certification 2.0. I'll change that, my friends. Nancy, put the, uh, could you put the book club link up? If you're the only teacher using whole brain teaching in the building, just use it, my friend. They'll come around. Remember, it's a long year. Try the 13-week program. Conk girl, keep it up. All right, my friends, that was our show for tonight. Remember, next week, Tier 1 Irresistible Attention Getters, and we'll show you how to start whole brain teaching in depth on Tier 1, one tier per week, nice and slow, three techniques a week, 13 weeks from now, 39 techniques you have in your grab bag. So as we do always on our shows, let me know, let the places stream down the screen. Where are you from, my friends? Let the locations of all 200 of you stream down the screen. Oh, look at them all. Georgia, South Carolina, Utah. Pasadena, Jacksonville, Rockford, Illinois, Chicago, Chamberlain, South Dakota. Yes, my friends. Canton, North Carolina. That's a beautiful thing. We will see you next week. And please, my friends, my family appreciates your prayers. We have medical issues that we're starting to get a handle on because of your prayers. So keep Coach B, his wife, and daughters in your prayers. My friends, it's power to the teachers. Coach B, signing off until next week. Good night, my friends.